welcome back to Next Gen Diecast for the start of the Legends Piston Cup here at Thunder Mountain Speedway. The Legends Piston Cup will feature 16 cars split into groups of four. The top two cars in each group will advance. The Legends Piston Cup will feature three rounds, and the scoring for each race will be five points for first, three points for second, two for third, one for fourth, and zero for DNF. Let's go ahead and introduce the four drivers of Group 1. First up, it's number 26, Jimmy Lugwrench. Next up, number 42, Ducky Fauntleroy. And next up, it's the legend himself, number 51, Doc Hudson. And last up, number 70, Duke Coulters. We are ready to get the Legends Piston Cup started. For race number one, Doc Hudson and Ducky Fauntleroy will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Jimmy Lugwrench and Duke Coulters. Here we go, the gate drops and the Legends Piston Cup is underway. Good battle for the lead between Hudson and Fauntleroy. Hudson is around. Here they come out of turn four. Jimmy Lugwrench makes the pass and takes the win over Doc Hudson. Lugrinch comes out of nowhere and takes the win away from Doc Hudson here in race one. Coming out of turn two, some contact between Hudson and Fauntleroy. Hudson gets turned around. And then out of turn four, Jimmy Lugrinch all the way from third to take home the win in the first race. Good start for Jimmy Lugrinch. He'll open up with five points. Doc Hudson in second with three points. Ducky Fauntleroy in third. He picks up two. And then Duke Coulter's in fourth with one point. So here we are on to race number two. Ducky Fauntleroy and Duke Coulters will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Doc Hudson and Jimmy Lugwrench. And the gate drops for race two. Great start for Ducky. He leads out of one and two. Ducky flips over. Hudson passes him going into three. Coulters around as well. And it's Doc Hudson at the line over Coulters. Fauntleroy third, and we lost Lugwrench. He is upside down in between turns three and four. What a wild ride that Ducky Fauntleroy went on coming out of turn two, flips over, ends up back on all four in reverse. He did get passed by Hudson and Coulters through three and four, and then Hudson goes on to beat Coulters by a car length. And let's go back and see what happened to Jimmy Lugrinch going into turn three sideways, came down and flipped over as soon as his car met the flat pavement where the banking ends. Disappointing run for Jimmy Lugrinch after starting out with a big win in race one. So two races in, Doc Hudson to the points lead. He's got eight points. Jimmy Lugrinch in second with five points. And then Duke Coulters and Ducky Fauntleroy tied with four. So here we are for race number three. Duke Coulters and Jimmy Lugrinch will start in row one. And then it's Ducky Fauntleroy and Doc Hudson starting in row two. And they are off for race three. Good battle for the lead going into one. Coulters leads out of two. Fauntleroy's around. Hudson is making a charge to the front. Race to the line for the win. It's going to be Coulters over Hudson by just over one one hundredth of a second. Fauntleroy third and Lugrinch in fourth. What a battle for second coming out of turn two. Fauntleroy goes around after some contact and then Hudson charging to the front. Passes Lugrinch and Fauntleroy in just about. Gets Coulters before the line. Watch the replay one more time at the finish. Coulters hard into the inside wall, spins around, and then just beats Doc Hudson by about a foot or so. What a finish here in race three. And it's a big win for Duke Coulters as he moves up to second place in the standings. Doc Hudson still leading the way with 11 points. Duke Coulters up to second with nine points. And then Jimmy Lugrinch and Ducky Fauntleroy are tied with six points each. But Jimmy Lugrinch does have the tiebreaker with the one win. We are ready to go for the final race of Group 1. Jimmy Lugrinch and Doc Hudson will be starting in Row 1. And then in Row 2, it's Duke Coulters and Ducky Fauntleroy. And the gate drops for the final race. Good start for Hudson. He leads through one and two. There's trouble behind him as Hudson pulls away. He's up on the wall and spins. He'll win the race. A race to the line for second. Goes to Lugwrench over Fauntleroy. And then Coulters comes through in fourth. But it's Doc Hudson that just put down a new track record. 
the fastest time we have seen so far here at Thunder Mountain Speedway. The first driver to put down an 8-0. He got loose up on the wall, spun around, coming down to the line and still put down a track record. All four drivers finishing in reverse in that final race. And that will wrap up group one here in the Legends Piston Cup. Doc Hudson finishes on top with 16 points, two wins, and a new track record. Duke Coulters finishes in second with 10 points, just one point ahead of third place, Jimmy Lugrinch. And then back in fourth, it's Ducky Fauntleroy finishing with eight points. He was Mr. Consistent today as he finished third in all four races. Doc Hudson and Duke Coulters will be advancing on to round two, but unfortunately for Jimmy Lugrinch and Ducky Fauntleroy, that is the end of their Piston Cup run. A big thank you to everyone for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you again next time. Take care. Hello, race fans, and welcome back to Next Gen Diecast for group two of round one here in the Legends Piston Cup. Let's go ahead and introduce the four drivers. First up, it's number three, Caleb Worley. Next up, it's number seven, Joe Don Jackson. And next up, number 26, Eli Turnpike. And last up, number 300, Leroy Hemming. The top two drivers in the standings at the end of four races will advance to the next round. For race number one, Joe Don Jackson and Eli Turnpike will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Caleb Worley and Leroy Hemming. And group two is off. Great start for Turnpike in the outside. He gets turned around. Hemming's gonna make the pass for the lead. Turnpike flips over. Here comes Hemming, he'll win the first race. Race to the line for second is gonna go to Jackson over Worley and Turnpike will pick up a DNF here in the first race. Turnpike got off to such a good start before Jackson gets into him in turn two, spins him around. Hemming would go on to make the pass for the lead. Turnpike flipped in turn four and then Jackson and Worley would push their way through to race down to the finish line. Jackson would take second, Worley third, not the start that Turnpike was looking for here in group two. So it's Leroy Hemming, Doc Hudson's old rival, picking up the win in race one. He's got five points. Jodon Jackson has three, Caleb Worley with two, and Eli Turnpike has zero. We are set for race number two. Eli Turnpike and Leroy Hemming will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Jodon Jackson and Caleb Worley. The gate drops and we are back racing. It's another good start for Turnpike. He leads out of turn two. Turnpike still leading through three and four. Hemming trying to make a run on him down to the line. Turnpike will win race two. Hemming second. And then it's Jackson and Worley. There was some great door-to-door -door racing between Turnpike and Hemming going through turns one and two. And then behind them, Worley tries to block Jackson. Jackson wouldn't have any of it. He took third. And then coming down to the line, Hemming had a good run on Turnpike, but he ran out of real estate. Turnpike with a big, big win here in race two after getting a DNF in the first race. Leroy Hemming still leads the way. He's got eight points. Eli Turnpike into second with five. Jodon Jackson in third. He's also got five, but Turnpike does have the tiebreaker with the one win. And then Caleb Worley in fourth with three. Here we are for race number three. Leroy Hemming and Caleb Worley will be starting in row one. And then in row two, it's Eli Turnpike and Jodon Jackson. And here we go for race three. Hemming pulling away, going into turn one. Hemming gets sideways. Worley's gonna make the pass for the lead. Caleb Worley's gonna win race three. Hemming second, and then it's Jackson and Turnpike. We apologize for the camera malfunction at the finish line, but what a run for Hemming through one and two. Then he got sideways going down the mid straight. That opened the door for Worley. He took advantage of it, made the pass going into three. He did not look back. And Caleb Worley picks up a big five points here in race three, putting him into the top two. Three races in and Leroy Hemming is still on top. He's got 11 points. 
Caleb Worley up to second with eight points. Jodon Jackson in third with seven. And then Eli Turnpike in fourth with six. We've got a good battle going here. One race to go. Which two drivers will advance to the next round? For race four, Caleb Worley and Jodon Jackson will start in row one. In row two, it's Leroy Hemming and Eli Turnpike. The gate drops for the final race. Worley leads down into one. Hemming with a big run, and Worley slams the door shut out of two. Out of four, Hemming with another run. Worley sideways. It's going to be Worley winning the race. Turnpike to second. Hemming finishes third, and then Jackson in fourth. What a wild finish. Hemming had a great run through one and two, and then Worley slammed the door shut with a big block. Coming out of turn two, Hemming trying to make another run. Worley gets sideways, essentially blocking Hemming down to the line. And that actually allowed Turnpike to finish second. We'll slow it down and watch it again. Watch this finish. Worley just beating out Turnpike, and Turnpike able to take away second from Leroy Hemming. And that's going to do it for group two. Caleb Worley and Leroy Hemming tie with 13 points each, but it's Caleb Worley that has the tiebreaker with two wins, and he will win here in group two. Caleb Worley and Leroy Hemming will be advancing on to the next round. They finish with 13 points each. Eli Turnpike finishes third with nine points. And then it's Jodon Jackson back in fourth with eight points. Unfortunately, Eli Turnpike and Jodon Jackson have been eliminated. We want to say thank you to everyone for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you back next time. Take care. Welcome back to Next Gen Diecast. Today we've got group three of round one here in the Legends Piston Cup. Let's go ahead and introduce the four drivers. First up, it's number nine, Slim Hood. Next up, number 17, Jet Robinson. Next up, number 34, River Scott. And last up, number 91, Randy Lawson. We are ready to kick off the racing here in group three. For race number one, River Scott and Jet Robinson will be starting in row one. And then in row two, it's Randy Lawson and Slim Hood. The gate drops and group three is underway. Good battle for the lead going into one. Scott sideways. He straightens it back out and holds the lead into three. Battle behind him, but it's going to be River Scott winning the race. And then a race to the line for second goes to Robinson over Lawson. Hood will take fourth. There was some great action through turns one and two in that race. Scott sideways after contact with Robinson. He was able to straighten it back out and then going into three Robinson sideways. He was able to hold on to second. You had Lawson and Hood side by side at turn four. Lawson was able to take away the position from Hood. He ran down Robinson, but didn't have enough time to make a move. So the first race is in the books here in group three. River Scott leads the way. He's got five points. Jed Robinson in second. He's got three points. Then it's Randy Lawson with two. And then Slim Hood back and forth with one point. We are set and ready to go for race number two. Jet Robinson and Slim Hood will start in row one. And then in row two, it's River Scott and Randy Lawson. The gate drops and we are back at it. Slim Hood off to a great start. He leads through one and two. Lawson to second. Spins going into turn three. Hood flips over, coming down to the line. He'll cross the line upside down and take the win. Lawson second. Robinson third. Then it's Scott in fourth. A wild finish for Slim Hood here in the second race. Hood had such a smooth run going. Then he gets airborne out of turn four. Turns sideways, flips right over. Rolls a couple times, crosses the line upside down and takes the win. And then he got hit hard by Lawson and Robinson. We are getting word that Hood is okay. He'll be good to go in the third race. But what a win for Slim Hood. He ties River Scott. 
We've got Slim Hood and River Scott tied with six points each, and then Randy Lawson and Jet Robinson tied with five points. So we've got a tight group here halfway through. Race number three. It's going to be Slim Hood and Randy Lawson starting in row one. And then in row two, it's Jet Robinson and River Scott. Here we go for race number three. It's another good start for Slim Hood. He leads as he's up on the wall, coming down into turn three. Slim Hood's going to win back-to-back -back races. Lawson second. Robinson will take third. And then it's River Scott in fourth. Another great run for Slim Hood. This time he... Gets up on the wall, coming down the mid straight. It did not seem to slow him down one bit. Another good run through three and four. Lawson sideways, could not run down Hood. As Hood gets back-to-back -back wins, and then close finish for third there as Scott bumps Robinson at the line. And so three races in, Slim Hood leading the way. He's got 11 points. Randy Lawson in second with eight points. And then River Scott and Jet Robinson are tied with seven points apiece. We've got just one more race here in group three, and any of these drivers can still advance. Randy Lawson and River Scott will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Slim Hood and Jet Robinson. And the final race is underway. It's a great start for Randy Lawson. He leads out of turn two. Hood spins, and that's gonna let Lawson run away with it. He's up on the wall, coming down to the line. He'll win the final race. Slim Hood finishes second, Jet Robinson third. And then it's River Scott in fourth. Randy Lawson had a nice lead going into turn one. And then when Slim Hood spun coming out of turn two, he created a traffic jam coming down the mid straight. And that allowed Randy Lawson to walk away with this one. He did climb the wall coming down to the finish line, but he still won the race and put down the fastest time of the day. So that is going to do it for group three here in round one of the Legends Piston Cup. Slim Hood wins group three. He finishes with 14 points. Randy Lawson finishes in second with 13 points. Jet Robinson in third. He had nine points. And then River Scott back and forth with eight points. It was a super disappointing finish for River Scott. He won the first race, and then he finished with three straight fourth place finishes. Slim Hood and Randy Lawson will be advancing on to round two. Jet Robinson and River Scott have been eliminated. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed the racing, and we will see you back next time. Take care. Welcome back to Next Gen Diecast for the final group of round one here in the Legends Piston Cup. Let's go ahead and introduce the four drivers of Group 4. First up, it's number four, Floyd Morgan. Next up, number 11, Junior Moon. Next up, number 41, Clovis Ryder. And last up, number 94, Luis Nash. There are two spots remaining in round two. The top two drivers in the standings after four races will advance to round two. For race number one, Luis Nash and Junior Moon will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Clovis Ryder and Floyd Morgan. The gate drops and we're underway here in group four. Good start for Moon. He leads out of two, but he spins around. In reverse, he leads out of turn four. Battle for second behind him, but it's gonna be Moon taking the win. Nash second, Morgan third. And then it's Ryder to come through in fourth. Junior Moon got off to such a good start out of the gate. Got spun around by Nash at the exit of turn two. And then going into turn three, big battle for second as Nash was sideways. She was able to hold on to the position and take the extra point over Morgan. But a great start for Junior Moon. He wins race number one and picks up five points. Louise Nash is in second. She picked up three points. Floyd Morgan in third, he picked up two, and then Clovis Ryder back in fourth with one point. We are moving on to race number two. Junior Moon and Floyd Morgan will be starting in row one, and then in row two. It is Luis Nash and Clovis Ryder. 
and the gate drops for race two. Moon's off to another good start. He leads out of turn two. He's sideways going into three. Ryder to second. Moon leads in reverse again. He'll win back-to-back -back races. Ryder takes second. Then it's Nash in third. Morgan fourth. But it's another big-time performance for Junior Moon as he's able to take the lead going into turn one. After a battle with Morgan, he's sideways down the mid straight. Ryder gets into him, gives him a little shove going into turn three, and then in reverse, Junior Moon able to win his second straight race, and that is going to extend his lead in the standings. Two races in, Junior Moon has 10 points. He's got a five-point lead over second place, Luis Nash. He's got five points. Clovis Ryder in third, he's got four points, and then it's Floyd Morgan in fourth with three points. Here we go for race number three. Floyd Morgan and Clovis Ryder will be starting in row one. And then in row two, it is Junior Moon and Luis Nash. The gate drops, we're back at it. It's another good battle going into turn one. Morgan leads out of two. Ryder able to hold on to second. Ryder with a good run out of turn four. Morgan throws the block and takes the win. Ryder finishing second, then it's Moon and Nash. What a race all the way down to the line. Clovis Ryder slammed the door shut on Junior Moon coming down the mid straight to hold on to second. And then watch Ryder, he got a great run out of turn four. But then Floyd Morgan throws the block and takes a big win here in race three. Floyd Morgan into the top two with that win. So three races in, Junior Moon still leading the way. He's got 12 points. Floyd Morgan in second with eight. Clovis Ryder in third with seven. And then Luis Nash back in fourth. She's got six points. We are ready to go for the final race. Which two drivers will be advancing on to round two? Clovis Ryder and Luis Nash will start in row one. And then in row two, it's Floyd Morgan and Junior Moon. Here we go for the final race. A good start for Nash in the outside lane. Ryder battles back, they're side by side. Here they come through three and four. Ryder has taken the lead, down to the line. Luis Nash able to come back and make the pass over Clovis Ryder for the win. Nash has done it, Ryder second, Morgan third, and Junior Moon comes to a stop short of the line and picks up a DNF in the final race. What a battle between Luis Nash and Clovis Ryder, side by side out of two and down the mid straight before Clovis Ryder able to make the pass going into three and then watch the run for Luis Nash. She goes on to make the biggest pass so far here in the Legends Piston Cup. Let's take a look at it one more time. Watch the door open, and Luis Nash able to split the gap between Morgan and Ryder to take a huge win in the final race that'll be good enough to put her into the top two. So that will conclude group four and round one here in the Legends Piston Cup. Junior Moon, the winner today, he finishes with 12 points. Luis Nash finishing in second with 11 points. Floyd Morgan and Clovis Ryder both tie with 10 points, just one point out of a transfer spot. Floyd Morgan and Clovis Ryder have officially been eliminated from the Legends Piston Cup, but Junior Moon and Luis Nash will be advancing on to round two. They will join the other six drivers that have already advanced. Here are the eight drivers that will be competing in round two. Doc Hudson was the big winner in round one as he put 16 points up on the board. We'll see if anyone can slow down the fabulous Hudson Hornet or if he will be able to continue this run and go after a fourth Piston Cup. Here are the current fan team standings at the end of round one. We had five teams put up 20 or more points on the board. Ghetto Diecast Customs leading the way with 25 points. NSG Racing and Turn 4 Racing tied with 24 each. Flash Racing has 23 points. And then the World Grand Prix team winner EP Videos has put up 21 points and rounds out our top five. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you back next time. Take care.